Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of the finals to explore one of the most versatile and exciting classes, the medium class. Let's delve into how to maximize your gameplay with this dynamic class. The medium class is a perfect blend of agility and firepower, caters to players who favor a balanced playstyle. Boasting a moderate health pool and impressive mobility, this class shines in the mid-range combat, striking a crucial balance between the defensive ability of a sentry and the supportive role of a medic. Let's review every part of the class in detail. First, let's delve into the arsenal. The medium class offers a broad range of weapons suitable for short to long range engagements. However, two standout options are predominantly viable, the AKM and the F-Car, though there are other fun alternatives to consider. The AKM undoubtedly earns the title of the best medium-range weapons in the finals. A quintessential assault rifle, scissor-friendly and quickly become familiar. Its easy of use, coupled with the formidable power and commendable accuracy, makes the top pick for both newcomers and seasonal FPS players. The magazine holds 36 bullets, the largest capacity among all medium weapons, allowing extensive firing before needing a reload. The AKM does exhibit some recoil, but is predominantly traveled upwards, as you see on the screen. Contracting this by pulling your aim down while firing is an effective strategy. Its hipfire accuracy is a decent too, ideal for close quarter scenarios rather than long-range engagements. Overall, the AKM handling is intuitive, rendering its formidable weapon in various combat situations. Now about F-Car. It excels in medium to long range battles and shares similarities with the AKM but offers greater range and marginally slower fire rate. The time to kill is higher than AKM but demanding precise shots due to only 20 bullets in the magazine. The F-Car's drawback lies in its recoil and limited ammunition, leaving little room for the error sometimes making it challenging to use. Unlike the AKM consistent recoil, the F-car often leads to the missed initial shots. Despite this, the weapon's high damage output makes mastering its handling worthwhile. Personally, I find better results with the AKM, especially when playing on Xbox, while I lean towards the F-car on PC. Additionally, when facing numerous light classes, I switched the F-car for its faster TTK, and it's also effective against heavy classes if you can land all headshots. Another set of weapon options, while fun, may not be as competitive. The riot shields initially seems like a cool choice, but it practically diminishes once you realize enemies can target your feet, which pick out from underneath. Accompanied by a button for melee attacks, its swings is rather slow and the damage output isn't quite enough. Effective use requires getting uncomfortably close to your enemies, which is exceptional stealth skills to be effective in combat. Both revolver and model 8087 shotgun requires precise accuracy to be challenging. Those weapons can be challenging for average player, mainly due to high skills needed to land headshots can be good if you use them in the right hands. The medium class has a broad set of versatile and unique gadgets crucial for a team play. Let's go over the key ones, ordered by importance. The defibrillator is an essential gadget for all situations, providing an instant revive for your teammates. This is particularly vital in tournaments, where team wipes cost money, tokens and push you back. Keeping team members alive is a top priority, and the defibrillator synergize well with the healing beam specialization. But don't forget that revive person has half health and half magazine load. Next, consider choosing between the sonar grenades, jump pad and APS turrets. The sonar grenades is excellent for countering the invisibility of light classes. It's a necessary tool when facing a team comprised of two or more light classes using invisibility. If that's not the case, then opt for either a jump pad or APS turret. Jump pads enable you to control vertical gameplay by quickly accessing high vantage points, giving you an almost instant elevation advantage. The APS turret is a crucial for maintaining control over fish out stations. It intercepts incoming projectiles like RPG rockets or grenades, making it an essential choice when your team lacking a heavy class members. 
Regarding grenades and mine choices, gas is predominant in the game for defending casual stations. Therefore, gas grenades or mines, especially when paired with the pyro grenades to counter gas, are highly effective. I personally prefer using a pyro grenade in combination with the gas mines. For specialization, there are three options available, with the two mostly used in the popular builds. The first specialization is the Guardian turret. Once deployed, the turret will survey the area and fire at enemy it detects in the vicinity. It makes it useful for defending areas or distracting enemies. The second specialization is a healing beam, a gadget shoots a blue beam that allows a player to heal their teammates from a short distance. This is useful when defending an objective or engaging enemies directly. It also significantly reduces the chances that a respawn coin will be needed should a player be killed and cannot be revived, which is critical in the tournaments. These are the two most popular and strongest specializations, especially for tournaments. However, there is a third one called Recon Senses. When activated, Recon Senses will temporarily highlight nearby enemies through walls similar to the effect of the tracking dart. This is useful in locating enemies in an area and dispatching them accordingly. However, the effect weakens the further away the players is from the enemy. And finally, let's dive into the top builds for the team playing tournaments in quick cash games. There are two particularly strong options I refer to as Medic and Sentry builds. First up, the Medic build. Its specialization, the healing beam, is primarily used to safeguard a heavy class. Your role revolves around supporting your team, mainly by healing teammates, especially during the defenses of cash-out stations. Equipped with a defibrillator for quick revives, you are the lifeline of the team. For gadget, the pyro grenade is ideal for neutralizing goo and toxic gas, complementing by a gas mine for strategic defenses. Weapon-wise, the ATM is a smart choice since you primarily support others, reducing the need for frequent reloads. Next, we have the Sentry build, specializing the guard turret. This build focuses on protecting cash out station rather than team kill. Guardian turrets can safeguard your team's rear or act as an additional far power during cash out station battle. Place them on ceiling to avoid explosives or glitch grenades, or in a adjusted room to delay enemy advances. For gadgets, good grenades are excellent for controlling enemy movements, blocking entrances and depleting their tactical resources early. Gas mines serve as a surprise for those reaching the cash-out stations. As for weaponry, the FK is a great choice for its aggressive potential, or alternatively use the model 8087 shotgun, which is devastating and close to mid-range combats. And this wraps today's discussion. I'm eager to hear about your favorite build options in the comments. And until next time, bye!